I think the issue is just some personalities here in Texas who have a problem with me personally. I am going to be out campaigning for two groups of people, Texas House members that will not support Dave Dillon. But the House is just totally dysfunctional. Dave is, Dave is incapable of leading in the House. This is the nastiest, most negative campaign I've seen in Texas legislative history. Top Texas Republican leaders are waging some bruising and brass knuckle battles against their own. And House Speaker Dade Phelan, the third ranking lawmaker at the Texas Capitol, is in the bullseye. I need your vote. I need support. I need your prayers. Thank you all for being here. Let's get it done. Phelan is in a fight to hold on to his House seat in Beaumont, where his family name has carried a lot of weight. While former Governor Rick Perry is supporting Phelan, Attorney General Ken Paxton, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller, Texas GOP Chair Matt Rinaldi, and now former President Donald Trump have all endorsed one of Phelan's challengers, David Covey. Governor Greg Abbott has stayed silent publicly on this race. This is a Ken Paxton going in there and asking a buddy for a favor. Covey celebrated the news with supporters. President Trump's endorsement of, of my campaign shows just how far uh, the incumbent has fallen. Phelan is being targeted by Trump and Paxton after he okayed a secret House investigation last year into allegations by the AG's former top lieutenants that he ran his office to benefit a campaign donor. That ultimately led to his impeachment in the chamber. The Texas Senate cleared him after a trial, and since then, Paxton has repeatedly argued in multiple forums that it was all a waste of taxpayer money. Which Dave Phelan still has not disclosed that. He's not disclosed how much they spent. Why does he, why does he disclose that? Because he doesn't want you to know before the election how much money that was. The lieutenant governor released this ad for Covey after telling me last December he wouldn't get involved in Phelan's race. Patrick's spokesman says what changed is that as chair of the Trump campaign in Texas, it's Patrick's job to speak on behalf of the former president's endorsement. Former Governor Perry has pushed hard for Phelan. I don't know why I need to be in Beaumont, Texas, telling you that you will be absolutely out of your mind if you get rid of Dave feeling. Every single day I'm gonna do the right thing. And you know, sometimes when you show some political integrity and courage, you get criticized for that. Phelan has raised millions of dollars according to state records, which show he has donated money and supported numerous House Republican incumbents, including those in North Texas who voted to impeach Paxton and who are now facing primary challengers of their own. One such race has Darren Mice challenging six-term incumbent Jeff Leach in the Republican primary in the 67th House District in Collin County. Well, look at look at our record of accomplishment over the past few sessions in, in accomplishing what Republicans have elected us to do. It's one of a variety of races between House Republicans in Collin County that finds Paxton. Ken Paxton. The governor of the state of Texas. And Governor Abbott on opposite sides. Abbott is supporting Leach and three other Republican incumbents in Collin County, while Paxton is supporting Mice and four other challengers. Uh, he is a powerful conservative leader that I need back in Austin, Texas, uh, to work side by side with me as we continue to keep Texas the number one state in the United States of America. One. Abbott is backing Leach, Representatives Matt Shaheen and Candy Noble in Collin County, and all House Republican incumbents who supported his school choice plan, taxpayer financed education savings accounts, or vouchers. Paxton, for months now, has been backing mice and all the challengers to the incumbents in Collin County who voted to impeach the AG, including Wayne Richard and Abraham George. Just get this started in the right way. I want to endorse everybody that came to stage because of their courage and their willingness to step out. What do you make of this in Collin County? Abbott's endorsements versus Paxton's endorsements. It's a fight, right? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> What's driving him to run, Mice says, is Leach's vote to impeach Paxton. Collin County isn't going to stand for it. I don't Texas isn't going to stand for it. And How big of a concern is that? And does the governor's appearance here help kind of 
dampen that? Look, I, I'm not. I'm honestly not concerned about it. Um, I believe I did the right thing, and and. Uh, what I'm talking to the voters about is about what we've accomplished and what we still need to do to make the state of Texas more safe, more strong, more free. It's a similar story in Denton County, where the governor is backing three House Republican incumbents and Paxton is supporting three challengers. In Dallas County, Abbott is endorsing House Republican incumbent Morgan Meyer, while Paxton, along with the lieutenant governor and former President Trump, are backing challenger Barry Wernick. I recently asked the governor about that fact and that he and the attorney general are backing different candidates and what conservatives should think of that. Abbott emphasized the importance of school choice to Republicans during the primaries two years ago. About 85 percent of them said yes, they want school choice. They need a champion fighting for what they supported. And I am their champion working in every precinct across the entire state of Texas to make sure they have a voice championing their goal to see that school choice gets passed in Texas.